So it will be found that once we substitute those expressions derived into the original equation, the other option that remains is only that u dashed y1 dashed or v dashed y2 dashed must add up to x. So this is actually the second condition. So we are now looking for two functions u and v under the backdrop of these two equations. This is the first equation or the first condition which I have written as condition 1 and that is the second condition and we will solve these two equations. Before that we define something called a Ronskian, Ronskian of y1 and y2. We define a term called the Ronskian. It's written as W R O N K I A N of Y one and Y two. The Ronskian of Y one and Y two, which is denoted by capital W is defined as determinant y1, y2, y1 dash, y2 dash. So that is determinant, in other words it is y1, y2 prime minus y2, y1 prime. So that is the Ronskian for any two functions y1 and y2. With this defined and so much done, I will just write down the expressions for uh, u and v that emerge by solving this equation and this equation together. The solutions I will just write down. The proof is given in any standard text on differential equation and we are in any case not doing any proofs. So, the solutions are written down as follows. <coughs> U is equal to minus integral Y2 capital X over the Ronskian integrated with respect to X and B is equal to integral Y1 capital X over Ronskian dx. This will become clear when we do one or two examples together on the blackboard, the whiteboard and then the whole process will become clear. In fact, we will find the particular solution to one or two equations and verify that the particular solution thus obtained by the variation of parameters satisfies indeed the original differential equation in its initial form. To see how the process works, we put up an example on the board and the problem that we are going to do is use the variation of parameters method to solve the equation y double prime plus y is equal to sec cube x tan x. So, we still retain these, not that we cannot remember these formula. In fact, we will rub them out. Let us see. Nothing will happen. So, the first requisite is that we need to find the complementary function y sub c. Now, this particular equation is second order linear and with constant coefficients. So, the first observation we make is that the auxiliary equation, the auxiliary equation
is nothing but m square plus 1 is equal to 0. The roots are pure imaginaries plus minus i. So, the complementary function is y c e to the power of 0 x into cos x plus sin x c1 c2. So, this complementary function in other words the complementary function is nothing but because e to the power of 0 x is 1 c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. We will just regard this as being y sub 1 and this as being y sub 2, where each is a solution of the original equation. Now, with this, we proceed to find the values of u and v as per the equation that we just rubbed out, which we'll write again to evaluate u and v. <coughs> Recalling what we have done a little while ago, the particular solution y sub p can be taken as u cos x plus v sin x u cos x plus v sin x, where u is given, now this again I am writing as y1 and this is y2. There is no harm labeling them so that we do not go wrong in applying the formula so that we can determine uh, u and v accurately. Now, we said that u is, e first of all we evaluate the Ronskian. Ronskian. In this particular equation, the Ronskian w is equal to determinant y1, y2. So, cos x and sin x, y1 and y2. Then, y1 prime and y2 prime. y1 prime is minus sin x and this prime is cos x. So, this determinant evaluates to cos square x minus of minus sin square x. So, that is nothing but cos square x plus sin square x and that is equal to 1. So, that is an advantage if the Ronskian is 1, we do not have to carry out uh, complicated divisions in the integrations themselves. So, here the w has a value of 1, which we just note down in one side. With this and whatever we wrote down a little while ago, our u becomes minus of integral y2 capital X over w dx. Here our capital X was we rubbed down the original equation to minus integral y2 is sin x into sec cube x tan x dx divided by the known scan which is 1. So, we now have to evaluate this integral which we proceed to do and that will yield for us the value of u. We take up this integral right on top and do it. So, u is minus of integral sin x c 
से क्यूब एक्स टेन एक्स डी एक्स Now what we do is we write this as minus sin x sec cube. We write as sec square and sec, and one sec is equal to one over cos. So we can write this as sin x cos x down sec square x tan x dx. In other words, this is nothing but minus integral sin x over cos x is tan x that multiplies here. So tan square x, sec square x, dx. One can see that this is nothing but the differential of tan tan x. So we can write tan x is equal to z. And this is z square. dz which will integrate to minus tan cube dx by 3 i repeat if we take tan x as z sec square x dx is dz so the integration is minus of z square that is minus of z cube over 3 so minus of Tan cube dx over three. That is the value of u, which we will capture somewhere. So let's capture it here. Our u is equal to nothing but minus of tan cube dx over three. Also, we can recall that the v is determined by integral y one capital X over Ronskian. That is, cos x was our y one, of course, with respect to x. Capital X is sec cube x. Tan x dx divided by rho square is one. So we are handling nothing but tan x sec square x because cos and one sec borrowed from here. Cos and sec are reciprocals of each other, so they cancel each other out. And therefore, this leads us to the integral of tan x sec square x. dx again observing that this is nothing but the differential of tan x so it is z dz nothing but z square by 2 so tan square x by 2 that is our v so we can write v as tan square x by So we just now summarize and get to the complete solution for this problem. Having found u and v, the particular integral now stands as y. Particular integral or particular solution is the same thing. U cos x plus v sin x. So minus. Tan cube dx by three into cos x plus tan. Cube, sorry, this is tan square. Tan square x by two 
sin x. Then square three. This is tan cube x. So this stands for the particular integral. The complete solution will be c1 y complete c1 cos x plus c2 sin x plus this particular value of this is brought down here the particular integral. So, that is the complete solution for this equation that we have just done. 